That audio is from a police body camera. Just moments after investigators say a woman jumped in front of a bullet to protect her cousin. The deadly shooting happened yesterday afternoon in Athens. Police say it started as a domestic disturbance, but it quickly escalated to murder when gunman Nicholas Head tried to shoot his girlfriend. Instead, he shot the woman's cousin, Quintavia Wade, and then tried to kill himself. Now, the case in Athens is just one of hundreds of deadly domestic violence cases in Metro Atlanta. And Griffin tonight, a candlelight vigil was held honoring victims who have lost their lives as well as those who are trapped in a vicious cycle. Fox 5's George Franco joins us live from Griffin with more on the story. George? Well, Russ and Sine, we've heard it before. If you see something, say something. And that was echoed tonight here in Griffin at a candlelight vigil for victims of domestic violence, some who can no longer speak for themselves. The Griffin High School Chorus helped set the tone at a candlelight vigil held to honor and remember victims of domestic violence. He would hurt me, go to jail, I would take up for him, I would lie. Tiffany Stossel told her story of always defending her abusive husband during their 14-year marriage. She says she finally left when he directed his emotional rage at their 10-year-old daughter. And he emotionally involved her, telling her, you know, some very horrible things. And at that moment, once he said that to her, emotionally, it just took everything from me, and that's what gave me the strength. Tiffany Stossel left with her life. Others did not. Patricia Bryant, Naoki Henley. Nearly 100 names of victims of domestic violence in Spalding, Pike, Upson, and Fayette counties were read aloud by members of law enforcement who work closely with the Griffin Judicial Domestic Violence Task Force. And I went to my mother's room. She wasn't home, and I got her 22 pistol out. And I was going to shoot my dad that morning. Thankfully, Audrey Holliday did not pull the trigger. She did become an assistant solicitor general in Fayette County, who now heads the task force. There's so much that can be done if people will speak up and stop being silent about the issue and it's important to share the word and get people to to be active. Ms. Holliday says 75 percent of her caseloads are domestic violence cases, which is why she encourages victims to first call police, then call for help no matter where you live. I would venture to say that the majority of DA's offices across the state have some program in place to tackle domestic violence cases. Victims advocacy? Yes.